Pigs don't wear lip gloss, Piggy. Oink, oink. Leave me alone. You're the pig. What did you just say to me? We told you at the soccer game to watch out. And what did you do? You won, didn't you? I didn't do it, Bella did. Yeah, we saw her. And we also saw Audrey take her out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going down today at lunch. Yeah, Audrey's gonna teach Bella a lesson. Why are you doing this? She didn't do anything to you. Just stop. Aaliyah, do you hear something? I just hear, oink, oink. <laughs> Let's clean this piggy up. She needs a bath in the toilet. No, don't you dare, stop! Hey, stop it, leave her alone! Looks like it's your turn. I dare you to try it. I will scream so loud the school will crumble to the ground. We're not afraid of you. It's people like you that never win. Bullies always lose and cheaters never prosper. Ooh, see you at lunch. We should make a TikTok dance for a science club. Yeah, let me just apply a gallon of paint on my face and add a glossy filter. I, I've never danced before, like, in public. I mean, Rena, you're not trying to change this club into something it's not, are no, you? No, Lara, I just want, you know, more people, different types of members. Cool members? You could throw a rock anywhere in the school and it would hit a TikToker. They're as common as the element iron on the periodic table. Avery's right. We can't dilute the club with the iron types, the popular, not serious about college types. I mean, we could learn a few new things from letting our new people in, like how to dance. Eva, take a dance class. I just want to make new friends. You guys are such a drag sometimes. To me, you guys are iron, and our classmates are diamonds. <laughs> Get up, Bella. This ends today. I'm not doing this. I said get up. <gasps> I'm not doing this. I'm not scared anymore. Why, Bella? I don't see your weird nanny anywhere to save you. Audrey, stop. You cost me the soccer game, and now you're gonna pay. Why? Because your cheating team lost? Or because you're a loser? <laughs> Classmates are dumb. Hey, I like your shoes. Where did you get them? Oh my God! What are you doing? Stop! What? What's going on? Stop. Stop it! Stop! Please, please. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Spaghetti. Oh, that's fire. Oh Is it what public schools are like?
Very clear. I am appalled. I have never seen such a disgusting spectacle in all my years of academics. You may want to know why you have been singled out, but it should be very obvious to your mother sitting here with you. Mainbridge Prep does not tolerate this type of behavior. But it's not fair. Audrey started it. Quiet. We do not tolerate bullying, and I do not care. Who started it? You and Audrey were at the center of a food war. So now you will lead its armistice. I have already spoken with Audrey and her mother, and I want a truce from both of you. Your punishment will be simple. I want every inch of that cafeteria cleaned up, and I mean spotless. Well, I just don't understand why my Audrey has to clean up Bella's mess. Your child violently hurt my daughter during a soccer game last Saturday. She's the one that needs to be cleaning up this mess. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, doctor. I didn't realize you're also a referee. Look, you know exactly what she did. Are you accusing my daughter of Yes, be she is the bully. Enough. Both of them were at fault here, and both of them will pay the penalty. I just don't see- No, what... you've said enough. This lesson will be for you mothers as well. Do you know the story of the Trumafrau? These were the women that paid the price for their community's mistakes. After every war, it is the women that pick up the pieces that others have left behind. These hardworking women of the Trumafrau were tasked to clean up the spoils of war. Now, I saw every student in that cafeteria participate in a war that you instigated. So now you young ladies are tasked to clean it up. You don't have to bury the bodies, but you've got to bury the hatchet, Bella. But we're talking about pizza and mashed potatoes. I am her mother. I will choose the appropriate punishment for my daughter. Trumafrau. Oh, you know, I just got this new bag. It's kind of like a book bag, but you know, like a little smaller, right? Oh, nice. That's a good brand. My dad's getting me a Gucci bag for my birthday. Oh, I want one. Everything fits, but it's like the worst zipper on earth. And, like whatever I'm looking for is always at the bottom and I have to dig through it. I mean, I can if I'm wearing it like a backpack. But it is like super cute. Yeah? Yeah, it's so cute. At least it's not covered in gravy. Oh my God, stupid fourth graders. That cafeteria is trashed. 
I mean, did you see Avery last period? She still has cheese in her hair. Ew. Ew. She's gross. Look, I don't care how long this takes, but Principal Ruth said my kitchen was gonna be clean as a whistle by tomorrow morning. You ladies better get started. your problem. You really want to get this started again? Bella, I'm here to help you. Your nanny is back. Everything in the world depends on how you look at it. This spoon can look ordinary. Or it can look broken. Just because it looked broken doesn't mean you can't fix it. Now, fix it. Winning is very important to me. I get under a lot of pressure to be the best. I'm sorry I hurt you, Bella. I understand. Thank you. It's OK. <laughs> Raphael helped me. Maybe he can help us now. With this mess? Hey! We got a whole bunch of mess he can help us back here with. Please dwell